the Zimbabwe Republic Police Harare province. I'm not uh, welcoming you to Harare in general, but to Harare province, ZRP. There is a reason why we have gathered here today, a very special reason. As the Zimbabwe Republic Police, our major responsibility is to make sure that we prevent crime, we detect crime, we arrest offenders, and ensure that we prepare to against that to go to court for all crimes that are committed. We do quite a lot in terms of the prevention of crime in Iran. It will continue to disturb us as the Zimbabwe Republic Police, as the law enforcement agent, to continue seeing crimes being committed in the city center and all the other places around our policing jurisdiction. Of late, we are receiving quite a number of very serious armed robbery cases that are taking place in Harare. The most disturbing thing is at times you find the armed robberies concentrating much on safe stations. At times you find them concentrating much on uh, supermarkets. At times you find them concentrating on uh, commuters. But generally what I'm talking about is armed robbery cases being committed in and around Harare. There is nothing which is so disturbing for us, yourselves and ourselves, to continue to do the same thing but expecting different results. We do one thing today, we get a result, maybe which is negative, and we do the same thing again tomorrow in a very similar fashion, but we expect that we should get different results. So the purpose of us coming today here is for us to map out the way forward, to try and establish a new method of doing things, a new method of uh, trying to solve these challenges together, yourselves and ourselves, so that the result that we get must be different from the result that we had yesterday. Tanya Yoro, ladies and gentlemen, the man drop us. But it is so disturbing that we have been talking about uh, service stations being robbed. Kupakari, you know, I'm now three years old here. And it's one issue that I've always been talking about. But we continue to experience them. And when they happen, quite a lot of money is stolen. From as far back as five, six, seven, ten years ago, these armed robberies have been happening. Yes, yes, the Zimbabwe Republic Police will try much, as much as possible to try and make sure that we will prevent this crime. But what are you also doing as a, a, the safe station owners, managers, and workers about this? Why do you always keep money at safe stations at night? Armed robbers come, they break into your safe station offices, they blast, they blast uh, uh, safes, and they take away lots and lots of money. At times they don't even break, they don't even blast the safes. They find the keys to the safes in those offices. And then we start wondering, is it an outside job? 
Is it a criminal who has just dreamt, who has gone to a nganga and was told that at some station A, B, or C, there is money today? Why is it that each time a service station is broken into, there is money in that particular service station? Tukuzama kutawa ya rebuti, kapufunga kukuti, pana ba pano, pano, pano yutuwa mari, ndi mba vayeno na kusufunga kutu pano pano mari, ndi mba vayeno kuna kuya, yutuwa mari yoyo. Why is that money not taken elsewhere to be hidden elsewhere? So that maybe you start afresh tomorrow. So that even if the criminal comes and he blasts, the unfortunate, the unfortunate thing happens, the money is taken, maybe just a few dollars are taken away. Unwanzo wa pachinzi, patoro wa 365,000, patoro wa 120,000. Unless maybe you are telling us that the figures that you give us are not real figures. But if they are real figures, what is the reason? behind all this taking place. Need I say that these crimes are occurring predominantly during the night time when traffic is very minimum. The robbers come pretending to be genuine customers in, in need of fuel. If you look at the business that you do at night, how much do you get? As compared to the business that you do during the day. What motivates you to continue asking or looking for the small business that you are doing at night? I know, of course, for the convenience of the public, you would want to run these service stations 24-7. But what does your sixth sense tell you about continued operations at night, despite the effect of these heavy losses? It goes without saying that we are dealing with criminals who are armed and daring. In some of these reported cases, the robbers were spotted carrying firearms and other dangerous weapons like machetes and knives. Let me assure you that as the Zimbabwe Republic Police, we are committed to addressing this issue head on and ensuring your safety and security. Right, I want you to know that in, you need to create a very strong uh, relationship with my police stations and, and police area. And more Make sure that it's a priority for them to ensure that they continue on hourly or two hourly basis or five hourly basis, whatever agreement you make. I took up four on my service station. I showed up on my patrols. I was a poor old name. Momosi, Manopansa, Bansera. But to accomplish this feat, we require you wholesome cooperation. Hence, the call for this meeting. I hereby propose and affirm the following strategies for our deliberation and or adoption so that we try and reduce this crime. To begin with, Ladies and gentlemen, I suggest we henceforth make prevention a priority. Prevention must be a priority. It's just as good as even Utanga when you want it. So I'm here out Utanga wa Barak. If you are told that such kind of food will affect you, why avoid the food? Why can't you avoid the food so that you don't get sick? You may be unfortunate not to find the appropriate medicine to cure you. You must prioritize staffing training programs, equipping employees with the necessary skills to identify potential threats and respond appropriately. This includes implementing effective uh, identification of suspicious behavior, implementing effective cash handling procedures, and maintaining a constant state of vigilance. By fostering a culture of prevention and preparedness, 
we can deter potential criminals and significantly reduce the vulnerability of our service stations. And then my other emphasis, ladies and gentlemen, is on the adoption of enhanced security measures at all our service stations. It is time that we consider employing fully armed Petroma button sticker. As far as marriage. Oh, we 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 since it acts as a deterrent and aids in the identification of suspicious activities. Mama said, Mr. Jina, I'm not told you. I'm not going to ask 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 you. I'm not going to because we are one man, no one will check it. No one will be able to see. By investing in these security measures, we can create a robust defence against armed robberies. Apart from the aforesaid, I recommend collaboration between you, law enforcement agencies, and the community. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these things as we take as we take more image. Remember, the criminals who do these things they also come from Zimbabwe. Why is it that somebody goes there with arm drop? What is an animal? He goes back to Mumbai, no, no, Gara. He starts spending that money in that house, but nobody comes up and say, "If you come back, you will not have any money left to spend on." Remember, if there are four or five people in your home, not everybody else would like that. Somebody would definitely spill the beans. Regular meetings and open lines of communication should be established to share information, discuss, concerns, and devise joint strategies. So that when you experience challenges, the dispo, the officer judge will sit down with you and offer advice or share advice with strategies together, isn't it? And lastly, we view swift response as crucial in apprehending armed robbers and preventing future incidents. Yes. That is my expectation is the officer commanding Harare province. That when such cases happen, if you report to the police, we must swiftly respond. But in most cases, by the time the police know about it, my dear is having a would love a situation whereby would want to respond to your needs whilst the crimes are being committed so that at least we salvage something out of it. Takato Fara, I mean, the last in Nigeria, they managed to drop $5,000 passport. I got to put butter on my maruku, my laptop, I got to see my passport. It was because of the swift response. When there are numbers, there are officers in charge stations in the area. When there are numbers, there are disposal. Yes, of course, this will be at the bus of the Mwene, but it could disposal work, could officer in charge work, could maybe station here in the so that the information is quickly gets to the police station. If you fail to get hold of the officer judge, how about the dispo? How about the CRL? How about any other policeman at the station? 
All the ones that have passed that information. It helps us a lot. Going forward as the ZRP, we commit ourselves to increasing patrols in the vicinity of service stations, particularly during high risk hours and usually these are night hours. As I got up, Our officers must be seen in greater numbers at night more than the numbers that we see at the police station. We expect to improve on that and we, I promise you as I sit here that I will ensure these two deputies of mine will make sure to my stations able have got more night patrols as compared to the day patrols. Additionally, we urge you to report any incident promptly and provide accurate descriptions of the perpetrators to aid in their swift apprehension. Moga no noka, no no noka, I want it. Unzo ungo jizo ago madira ago uti madira unga na falanga aso da aso da. Juno sa atma di madiri type yo. And in conclusion, I wish to thank you all for your presence today and I look forward to a fruitful meeting and continued cooperation in all our future endeavors. Okay, so this is the command in another province. The big man on my left, and the big woman on my right, and myself. This is not only a matter of us in the way I am. I'm going to ask you to do what I do now. Some of you, you know, couldn't wait ma. Ma background, I. I want to bond. I want to. I want to bond. The other day I heard there were so many of them at Galarab. So I went there and got let me go and see them. So when I got there, I thought uh, they didn't know anything about me. Tapuruga Mota. Jingo Puruga was going to say, Then I said, Ah, manager, who tool I want to see it. Manager, who can I want to see it. I see it. Bonda, you wouldn't eat him at the age of them. I more mean Zvai Vanu Amnushanda now wanted. It is in your best interest, not in our best interest, but in your best interest to know these commanders, your disposed, your officers in charge. Because Ndova Noita Guti, remember the people that you talk to or you report to are constables and sergeants on the ground. Who may take time to respond to you this it? But if we get to know that you have reported and uh, the guys are delaying in responding, it is our one strong message, our one strong word, and it would shake a bunch of And the moon support them. Right. So I just wanted to I just want to welcome all of you. You feel very free to be in this meeting. I want you to contribute as much as possible. Tirati zewa patro kono asma police. Imuti chita oro ni muti kuna zewa patro kono asma service station managers and workers, so that we agree on the best way forward to address the issues. Those who are not able to drop bodies, they are not going to be Want to give the opportunity? Kukuba no are not asma am drop bodies. Ajo, but when you talk to our guy what exactly is happening and how best we can address it. But I want to believe it. all of you are seeing the effort that we are making. For example, it is a result of the work that will be done. Thank you very much. The armed robberies are which the command has been talking about made up of this which the command has been talking about made and anything that has to do with firearms. So, what the commander has been saying is in a nutshell, uh, in brief, what we, what we do, 
But I will touch uh, some of the issues that we meet every day so that uh, we go to our premises, we go to our business. Tanya to Siva Kuti, can I take the problems that I die to nature say? Actually, as said, you will be sight, Zimbabwe Republic Police, which works under the, the ZRP Arai Command. We are very happy for the commander to have arranged this meeting. We had no idea on how to meet you, the business people. We actually wanted to meet you. And in short, like we have said, uh, we urge all business people, like the commander said, not to keep large sums of money at stations. This use the other they use the banks or other facilities available to you. Uh, we also uh, 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 urge business people to enhance the security, like the commander said, by monitoring gadgets, by, by providing uh, surveillance gadgets at the business premises, Having contacts for nearest police stations. And this has been a problem, sir. If we are going to take a survey of who among us, these business people among us, we have a number of a police officer in charge of his own police station, we may find out that they may not have. Like we have said, they take police as enemies, but the police should be your friends. You should try by all means to be in constant touch with the officer in charge of your local police station. You are a business people, you are business persons. You should try by all means to be in constant touch with your police stations, your nearest police stations. So, Uh, there is a, as a common number that uh, as business people you should have. That common number, even if you have Lawai, even if you are in Mutari, even if you are in, in, in any other province, that common number is called the, uh, the ZRP Harare Operations Number. That is ZRP Harare Operations Number. If you are in Matebele and you encounter the problem, and we found that the Harare Operations number, they're going to help you with the nearest police station number where you will be. Even if you are in Matibele, they will give you the nearest police station to where you, you, you will be. So the ZRP Harare uh, Operations number, I think the, the, the community relations officer will favor you with that. But maybe before I go down, I need to favor you with this number because I have seen that this number is a very useful number to everyone, every citizen of Zimbabwe, whether in, in whatever province. The number, let me have the privilege of sharing, sharing it, is 74, a random number, of course, 0242, 748836. I will repeat it again. Arari number 0242 74 Wherever you are, I will tell you, you have a testimony of this number that we have given you today, if you keep it safely. Whatever problem, or even if you are involved in a traffic, in a traffic accident, you call that number that you want the police at the accident site. See, they will provide you the police at that. So, I urge members uh, to be the solution to all these problems is business and police partnership. So, please maintain that. 
We also urge you to have a background of all employees that take a boat at your, at your, at your, at your workplaces. By background, a lot of people are mistaken that if a person, if you check the fingerprints with the police and the police say that a person has never been convicted of any offense, then that, that, that may mean that the person is a threat. I beg to differ a bit. Checking a background of a person does not, know, does not only include, it does not only include having fingerprints checked by the police, no. If he has a CV forwarded to your office, a CV forwarded to your main resources, you look at the, uh, for how long has this person worked, from where, which organizations? Check with those organizations. How has that person left those organizations? But you, business people are not doing that. They just think you check the fingerprints of the police and that's all. But, because you don't want to waste time, you say you can go to the place and go. But, background, the moon is it clean? Thank you. So, uh, in as much as it is the responsibility of the Zimbabwe Republic Police to prevent, protect, and detect crime, the business community should join hands with the police. Business police partnership is the best solution. Police stations should not be no go areas for you, business people. You should be friends with the police. Deployment of surveillance cameras by ensuring that the digital video recorder is not access accessible to everyone, like the commander have said. It seems like it is not a CCTV bar. Papa previous. All friends will know by the end of the day what it does. So it's a CCTV. In actual fact, in a fan of COVID, I want to go neighbor. DVR, I am not in Wueka, I don't know where you want to eat it. DVR, I did have it. Let's not check it information. When it passes out information, I don't want to see a chili, rich natural from Sol Petepo. Even the mighty gurus. There is the use of the cloud. Can I make some sensitive? Although it may be a bit expensive, but you are assured the good information you have will never be lost. So, thank you very much, sir. This is the information that you wanted to share, but as we have said that opening lines of communication with the police, enhancing security measures at your business premises, we are ready as the police to share every day, any time of the day, during the night. Our spouses, they know very well that we can be called at any time because no basarajo no tutoramis. Saka, don't be afraid to call us at any time of the day, any time of the night. CID homicide number, landline number is Arare 0242-758-031. Every night we have a team on night eh nguva yakasati yakwana hayo chef kuti nditi taura izvi show mane mari yakadonetswa pa pavangaita vana chef but i am happy to say chef that we have broken that case yes. saka namba itso zvatirukupa I will also give you the also in charge. Then we got to form our own group. Any, me, me, Emma, safe stations. More mati ede we mo. To garage chipana na information. Emma group we mo. Yema crime trends. Muno muno batiri kana zaganya nyam. Kunyanya epa bandoto na ordet. 
Masef seje ni majinji nda ona Aka ita uwa wane mazita au kuti Aka tupu shikiru wane mazozi Patupane wa amwe wane lakile kutu Apasati wa shikiru We share information That helps you to safeguard your money Mari ya muno ita Ishefu ya wano zosi ya masef Masef station ni machinda kumorara Hope snow huya ere wasia Fortune ku company So please uh, we are ready, we are there to help you as the police. Uh, my number, thank you. Sir. My mobile number, which I said you can be called at any time 24 7 0772 753 003. Apart from the one I've given you, Yebu office, the number for my my OC, my officer commanding CIT homicide, his name is Superintendent Kelos. Superintendent Kelos. His number is 0772 448 And for the officer in charge, Detective Inspector Chifamba. Zero seven seven three eight six three five zero nine. You can call those numbers at any time. Thank you, sir.